Good morning, Knights. I'm Katie Thomas. And I'm Natalia Spencer. And this is The War Report. Do you want to come ice skating with me down by the bridge? Uh, actually, Natalia, it's on McCulloch now. It has a big block of ice that covers most of the room. You can't miss it, and it has a snack bar. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Well, when should we go? They're open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well, how much money should I bring? It's $12 for 13 in order, per person and per hour. And don't forget that $2 skate rental. Cool. Maybe with this new school schedule, we won't have to go to school next semester so we can find time. Actually, you do have to go to school. There will be no more hybrid learning. It's back to the grind come January. Man, I wonder if I should quit my job or try to juggle practice, school, and a job. Well, we could ask Jacob if school or work is more important to students. Jacob? Thank you, KT. And that is the question for today. Should work be prioritized over school or school be prioritized over work? Now, this is a weird question and this could have easily been answered last year and the year before that and two years before that. But with everything that has been happening and you've heard this about a thousand times and due to this, us students and teachers had to adapt to an online learning environment. Now with this, many students have been able to pick up new jobs and new opportunities outside of school. And we have three students that would like to share their opinion on how they are trying to work on a balance between school and work and what they think is more beneficial for them this year. Our first student is Mackenzie Myers. She is a junior and she works about 32 hours a week. Now she says that I only go to school two days a week, so I have more days to go to work. I think working does benefit me more than school because I'm able to work with people every day and learn real life things that I actually want to do instead of sitting in a classroom two days a week and cramming a bunch of information in my head. But now let's look at a different opinion from a different person. Now this person would like to stay anonymous as with the other person I'm going to be sharing with. They are also a junior that works from 15 to 20 hours a week. They say they don't think that school gets in the way of working at their job and they say school will help me more in the long run. Our final student who would like to stay anonymous is a senior who works about 20-ish hours a week. School benefits me in the long run because it provides me with knowledge I'll need in the future. However, work has greatly benefited me because it gives me something to do because I'm a person who needs to stay busy. Also, my job has taught me good life skills and I very much enjoy it. It's definitely two things that will be crucial for the next stage of anyone's life. Well, thank you for letting me share. KT, Natalia, back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Natalia, what do you have going on over here? Oh, nothing, just studying for finals week. Oh, finals. Forgot about that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we just talked about how work and school should be balanced or prioritized, but let's focus in on school right now because of finals that is happening next week. We are still under the same stress and struggle of studying for each and every subject. So I'm here to give you five tips on how to get ready for the finals. One, now you may have been hating this or you may have been loving it, but the best way to get primary information for your final is through your teacher. So use Zoom, schedule an appointment with your teacher, schedule a time with your friends and study big and stay safe. Number two, Quizlet. Quizlet is a fun, educated online website where you get to test yourself, you get to quiz yourself on any subject that you need. For example, I'm gonna be studying for English and wow, look at this. It's exactly what a test should be. Wait, actually, let me do these things. So yeah, it grades you like an actual final and you get to learn from your mistakes. You get to complete it until perfection and it keeps your mind exercised and running. Number three, use your time wisely. Now this is plain and simple. Do not try to study all five of your subjects last minute on the last night. It's not going to help you in any sort of way. Number four, get good sleep all of next week and especially the night before your final. Now coffee can take you a long way. 
sorry they didn't have starbucks open at this time but sleeping is going to be way more beneficial and number five take a deep breath and relax everything is going to be okay and you're going to do great on your final and that's all i have for you today night take it back to the studio with katie and the talk i'm gonna have to use those tips to help me out with finals look at the bright side christmas is right around the corner that's right i wonder if callie has answers if teachers have their own christmas lists and traditions Working through this pandemic has been a struggle for everyone, including teachers. They've been working hard, and as we know, Christmas is right around the corner. If you've been thinking about what to get a teacher to show your appreciation this year, you're in luck. Teachers showed a big interest in things like mugs, frames, books, pencil holders, and desk decals. Another thing listed was gift cards to places like Colombian Joe's and Amazon. And as anyone would, teachers also showed a love for food and drinks like coffee, chocolate, sodas, and candies. Other miscellaneous gift ideas teachers put on their wish lists was inspirational signs, post-it notes, small houseplants, candles, and gel pens. Something that should not go unsaid is that the teachers also listed poems and a nice note, and they would really appreciate anything. So if there's a teacher you really want to show your appreciation for this Christmas, keep these ideas in mind. This is Kaliana, and stay plus ultra. Thank you, Callie. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. I'm Katie Thomas, and remember to keep grinding and fly right. And I'm Natalia Spencer, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.